Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for a Wednesday video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a chaos uh, ribbon swipe, um, but I'm gonna do it a little differently. I'm doing a little test. A lot of people ask, do you need a base coat? Do you not need a base coat? Well, I'm pretty sure I already know what's gonna happen with this, but do you need a base coat? Yes, you do. Am I gonna do a base coat today? No, I'm not. But I got a funny feeling I'm going to have to do a second pour because it's not going to work. The reason why I say that is that base coat is going to allow the paints to slide around the canvas. So if I just chaos ribbon pour paint all over a canvas, it's on a dry canvas. So when I tilt it, it's not going to move very easily. But I wanted to show this so people uh, will understand why you need a base coat. So what I'm going to do, chaos ribbon swipe and tilt it up. Also, um, I've changed the date for my Facebook auction. My Facebook auction is going to start on July 29th. That's a Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to last for one week. This bad boy right here, it's up for sale. This one over here is going to be for sale. This one's going to be for sale. This one here is for sale. So make sure you are following and subscribed to my Facebook art page, Studio 15 Acrylics. All right, everyone, let's get down on the canvas and let's start playing. I'll be right back. So today I'm going to do a chaos ribbon swipe. I'm going to lay out my colors all over the canvas and I'm going to swipe through with my uh, cell activator, which is my titanium white. And I'm thinking about using the permanent blue violet. Um, I'm only using four different colors today. I've got my golden and the Payne's Gray Prussian Blue Mix. Really beautiful color. This is my Amsterdam and the Aqua Green. Holbein Luminous Rose. Bright, bright pink. And then Old Faithful, I got Artist Loft and Metallic Cobalt Blue. I think these colors laid out and then swiped is gonna be really cool. And I'm probably just going to use my Fluid Art Co. number 10 palette knife to swipe with. Okay, so what I want to do is just lay out my paints all over the canvas. And I painted my edges and sides with the uh, same color to make sure my white canvas doesn't peep through. Yeah, I'm not going to lay out a base coat. I'm just going to use my paints as my uh, color. Just got to make sure everything gets covered. So let's... Dribble. And I'm going to come back through with these colors more than once. And I'm going to add a little spice to this by adding some Reflex Green from Amsterdam. I'm just going to start here, kind of swipe up. Pull up right there. Start here.
So let's see how this tilts out because there's no base coat now. So it's just these paints that are on the canvas that's gonna move. Just gonna put this right along the edges here. All right, guys, so this experiment, as I thought, would not work because you really need to have a base coat for the paints to slide around on. So what I did is I mixed up some more paints, um, variations of the same colors. I'm just gonna change up the fluorescent pink a little bit because I didn't have enough, but I'm gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna ribbon pour and we're just gonna swipe again. So let's come back through. And now that I've got a base coat of these colors, this should be an interesting design. So let's put, so this pink is Pebeo's fluorescent pink. I'm gonna put on a whole lot more paint than what I actually need because I want to be able to swipe through and have an ease of tilting. And I'll just take and scrape the paints off of my plastic and use for table scraps for another pour. Usually what I would do is I would do my swipes and then I would kind of wreck. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some wrecking first. So I think what I'm gonna do first is go off this corner, or maybe that corner. Let's go, let's see. Let's see what happens. She's heavy. Yeah. Let's go here first. Try to preserve some of those cells.
Stride up home, running wild on this old night, sitting by the traffic light zone. I don't know. I like it. It's dark, it's deep, wild lacing. I can deal with that. All right, here we are with the wet results. So definitely an abstract piece. Let me bring you in here. I'll show you the close-ups. See this one's dry. All right, here we are with the dried result. I love the composition, so cool. I love metallic cobalt blue. It just, it's a great color. Works well with the Payne's Gray Prussian blue mix. Right, guys that's gonna do it for today's video wow I love this color combination the composition is really cool too because you got the streaks kind of going off at an angle just hints of pink coming through there and it dried really great I love this a lot so 
I think getting some gloss varnish on that is really gonna make it pop. Very happy with that. And like I said, I'm going to use these colors probably in the next couple of paintings. I'm going to work and I'll be gone for a few days. Actually, I'll be gone for almost a week. So um, I'm trying to get a lot of paintings done before I go. So I'm gonna take advantage and use up these colors. So. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.